Uh, I currently can't see the other side of my phone, so I can't wait for you guys to jump on this live video. So I'm just going to get started, but don't worry, we're going to post it on our YouTube page, YouTube channel, so no worries. So I'm Lindsay. I am the founder of V. You can find us on the internet, but most of you already follow what we do, which is why you might be watching right now. So we're launching a video series that is going to help pair with our meal planning service. So V is a meal planning service. We take all of the items that are in those weekly specials flyers that you see when you walk into the grocery store. We take those items that are on sale and we turn them into meal plans for you. And what you get is a personalized shopping list, menu, and recipes based on where you shop and live. So it's pretty cool. And we're in the process of expanding all the way from Maryland down to Florida and into Tennessee and Ohio and Kentucky soon. So stay tuned for that. But this is the first series of our video tutorials. And today we're gonna do something really easy that our subscribers find in our recipes all the time broccoli florets. So the same goes for cauliflower in case you're wondering and you don't know and that's part of the whole reason why we're doing this is that we want you to feel empowered in the kitchen and feel strong to be able to cook at home using our recipes and then sometimes doing it on your own and making stuff up and knowing that you have the tools that you need to be able to accomplish that. So today it's broccoli florets. I'm going to show you the process. The process is going to take about 30 seconds and if I can do it in 30 seconds while I'm videotaping myself, you can do it in 15 seconds probably. So I would really like to see that. And then at the end of um, the tutorial, I'm going to take questions if any of you have any questions. And then also we're going to chat about what we're doing next time, which will be Thursday. So stay tuned for that and this is going to go really quick. So pay attention and try to absorb the information and you can always find us on our V YouTube channel if you need to follow up anymore. Okay, here we go. This is going to be a little disorienting because I'm about to flip the camera around so just close your eyes or hold your breath or whatever. Stay tuned. Here we go. Now this is going to be a lot easier and the sun is coming in. It's really nice. You can see my hands with no nail polish on. Yes, I know. Um, so what we're looking at here is called a broccoli bunch. In our recipes, you'll see bunches and you'll see crowns. You can find both at the store. They usually run about the same price, but um, what I usually say is go for the ones that are on sale. So the bunches are called bunches because the way that the broccoli grows, this part right here comes out at the top and it's cut, this is a younger broccoli, head of broccoli, it's cut further down along the stem. I like bunches the best because you can cut this part off and save it for stocks or broccoli cheddar soup. Um, it's just fantastic to keep around. So this is what I prefer to buy. Um, but if you want to know what a crown looks like, here's the difference. So bunches have the longer stems and smaller um, heads at the top. A crown has a bigger head at the top and is cut much closer to the head. If you can see there, it's a shorter stem. So bigger, same amount of money usually for one is two of these. These come together with a rubber band and it's your call, but really just go for what's on sale. So you're going to start by taking off the rubber band. Save this rubber band. Save it, save it, save it. We don't like to throw this in the landfill anyway. But what I like to use it for is holding bags of leftover snacks closed or, you know, random hair tie. Um, so hold on to that. Don't throw it away. We're going to put it over here and we're going to start. So I'm going to take my knife. Sharp, small. You want something like a paring knife you can use. You don't need to use a huge chef's knife. And I'm going to look at the stock and look where the very lowest lying branches are coming down. So do you see those right there, right there? I'm going to cut right above where the lowest lying branches come down. And this is what I'm going to save and we're going to show you what to do with that in a minute. So this is the fun part that's super easy. That one's already done for us. That's a floret. So I'm just going to use my hands to snap off all of the ones that I can. And this is the really fast part that's super cool. You 
really there's no need for you to ever go to the store and buy bagged florets again. This is much less expensive and takes no time at all to do. So I'm gonna repeat the process and cut right above the lowest line branch. Put that in my little stockpile. Get it? <laughs> and I keep on going like that. So that one can stay. And you can make them, some are smaller, some are bigger. These would steam faster than a big one, but the typical steaming time is four minutes for really bright green, nutrient-rich broccoli. So that'll be another tutorial later in the month. So let's go ahead and do a crown just so you can see the difference. So a crown's a little bit more challenging because it's so much bigger, so I like to cut it in half. And I don't put my knife all the way down through the bottom, see? I only did halfway through, and then I pull. That way, your florets are still intact on top. Isn't that cool? So now, I'm going to do the same thing I did before, kind of working in a circular motion. Stock. And then I just use my fingers. Same old deal, guys. This is super easy. I really want to hear from you because I want to know how easy this is for you. I'm really hoping that at the end of the day, everybody just gets so empowered and feels like they can do this at home. Learning all these different little kitchen hacks, it's just so valuable. And it's all the stuff that I've learned, not from going to school, but just from being a home cook and cooking for a lot of kids and adults. So there we go. And see how I'm gently breaking it apart from the top, like reaching my thumbs in. That way you're not destroying the pretty top there. All right. So that's it. And then... What I do is I always save the bags that I buy the broccoli in and I use this as my stock bag and I fill it up throughout the week and keep it in my freezer or fridge until I'm ready to add water to it and make vegetable stock. So this is great for vegetarians, vegans, and anybody. So I pull down the outsides and create a well in the center just like that and I'm going to put my stems in there. And if you're curious about what broccoli and cheddar or broccoli cheddar soup, you know, looks like if you were making it at home, you would just take this and slice it down into bite-sized portions. And this, this, by the way, you can eat that. Okay, don't throw that away. If you just slice them real thin like that, then if they cook in the soup for a long time, they get really melty and they taste like broccoli and they're really soft and delicious. So. Don't ever throw these away, please. Don't throw them away. I'm gonna put them in my stock bag for now. All right, then for storing broccoli florets, you can put them in a bowl in the fridge, just like this, with a wet paper towel over top, see? Or you can put them in a Ziploc bag. So that is the end of our broccoli floret tutorial for today. And I'm gonna whip this back around so I can talk to you for a second. All right. So where we go from here is Thursday, same time, same place, my house, the V Test Kitchen. We're going to be working on toasting nuts. So all I'm going to leave you with is to say that it is not worth the money to buy toasted flavored nuts because you can do it at home for much less, sometimes half the price. So I like to buy raw nuts in bulk, like almonds, walnuts, pecans, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, you name it and I like to toast them at home. And pretty much it's the same process for every sort of nut. So stick with us next Thursday, 2 p.m. I'll be back and teach you how to toast nuts. Okay, bye.